Welcome back to Save Toys. I'm your host, Travis, and on this week's episode, we've crossed another milestone in Save Toys history. It's our 20th episode. You and I, we've started this adventure together, and we've walked 20 episodes. I can't believe it. You know, I said uh, in the first video of 2019 that this year would be a year of taking new ground, and we're going to do it. Today, for our 20th episode, it's going to be the first episode of Save Toys Rewind. In the beginning of Save Toys, uh, I was learning the process of making YouTube videos and we came a long way and there's more ground to take. But in the process, some of the first videos I wanted to redo uh, for a while now and put them in Save Toys format and kind of update them. So today, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to be covering the 91 Classic Brown Suit Toy Biz Wolverine and the 92 Toy Biz Tiger Strike Wolverine. So pop those claws, dig in, and meet me at the review booth. We're here at my new and improved review booth for episode 20 of Save Toys. We're going to be doing an updated uh, review of the 91 Classic Brown Suit Toy Biz Wolverine and the 92 Tiger Stripe Toy Biz Wolverine. Let's get started with the 91 as it is my favorite action figure in my entire collection. And it's probably the uh, action figure that I've had the longest. Okay, one thing I love about this action figure is the stocky build. It's always really looked like Wolverine to me. Uh, the original one that I had came with uh, the mask and the Miramasa sword. The mask uh, version, it, it really doesn't look all that great. It, it was uh, good for the time, but it's kind of their uh, version of multiple head swaps. They, they really didn't make any action figure, to my knowledge, that had multiple heads, so it's the closest we got back then. Now, since then, I've lost that uh, mask. Who knows where it is? It's probably in a dark alley somewhere in, in North Carolina where I'm from. Uh, the next thing I want to point out is the claws. That's something that toy makers have struggled with all the way back in the 90s, uh, and actually a little bit earlier than that with the Secret Wars Wolverine, all the way to the day with the Wolverines we're coming out with. Now they've come up with some pretty ingenious ways to deal with it. Uh, my favorite is Mezco 112 uh, Collections. Uh, just remove the hand and put on an unclawed hand versus a clawed hand. It, it keeps the claws looking good and that's the best thing I think we've got out there right now. Now Hasbro does have individual removable claws and, and that's pretty good as well. But the claws on this action figure, I think, have been some of the best claws ever to be put out by Wolverine. I mean, they go up in his hands, got the little knuckles right there, the metal knuckles, so it, and you just pop them out. Little J hooks back here, as you can see. I think the detail in this one was good. I like the pointed boots. It really looked like the uh, brown suit in the comics. More pointed detail, in, in my opinion. Let's set him down right here. And uh, let's see. Jump over to the 92. May just have to let him fall. There we go. The 92. Now, this one doesn't have the uh, removable mask, so the, the head's kind of there. Although they did pretty good on the sculpt. Whited in eyes. Uh, the body, to me, has always been just a little bit too tall and skinny. Wolverine was five foot three in the comics, about that, and more of a stocky build. And this one kind of... Uh, like they were trying to make him look like Batman or something. It's real uh, skinnier, still very muscular, but now this one I've had to glue both of his arms over the years because they've both broken off. I've, I've had him since 92, and uh, the claws on it, mine are breaking up right there. I probably need to just let him sit in my collection and not move him around too much. He's getting pretty old and showing his age. But the claws go up against his knuckles. They don't go all the way in. And it's more reminiscent of the direction Lin Wen, one of the uh, Wolverine creators, wanted to go with the claws just coming out of his gloves instead of actually his hands. I am so glad they didn't take that direction, uh, but this action figure is more reminiscent of that. It's still a good action figure. It has a good play feature on the back where you can see the little handle back here. Let's see if I can get that in focus with the light. Uh, there you go. You can see it where you can twist him and his arms would, uh, twist him and his arms would move. Uh, mine don't move up and down because I've glued them since then to, to preserve the action figure. But uh, that's my Toy Biz action figures. I'm going to meet you back over in the uh, Nerd Cave in just a second. Back in the Nerd Cave, and as you can see, that's my 91 Classic Brown Suit Toy Biz Wolverine. What a mouthful. 
but I got him at Christmas in 1991 and he is my number one action figure in my collection today. And over here is my 92 Tiger Stripe Wolverine. I got him in Walmart and I can remember to this day exactly where I found him and where he was in the Walmart in my hometown. That memory will be forever seared in my memory. But while we're in the Nerd Cave, I kind of want to go over my carded versions of these action figures in my variant that I have. So, very quickly. As you can see, these are my brown suit Wolverines, and I've got two of them carded. Now, the reason for that is I got this one last year for Christmas. And you'll notice a little J-hook there, a J-holder there for the shelves. That is one of the ways you can tell that it was a reissue. Another way is the card in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see that good. But that is a 1994 uh, X-Men card. And obviously the action figure came out in 1991. Now, I got this one for this year for Christmas. If you remember from my Christmas haul uh, video a couple weeks ago, you'll remember this action figure. You can tell it's got the uh, different uh, peg holder here and also the original card, which was a Wolverine. So this is a carded 91 and I just got this. Uh, over here is the original card that came in my open one that you've seen earlier in this video. I've got it in a case and uh, that's just some really good artwork of Wolverine. Above it, I've got the talking variant of the classic brown suit. Mine still works. Let's see. <laughs> it was pretty good for its time. Uh, and to the left of it is my carded Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Now, you may notice it has the, the J uh, peg holder up there, so it's probably a reissue. And uh, maybe in the future I'll be able to find another one of those uh, that was an original issue. But for now, it looks great. Now, going down, I just picked this up from Retro Reboot. This is a four pack with the 92 Tiger Stripe Wolverine in it has a uh, Iceman Sabretooth and Mr. Sinister. Uh, picked that up at Retro Reboot, my local action figure store, and wanted to add that to my collection. So, uh, that's my Wolverines in the Nerd Cave. Let's do one more shot of that 91 and some of my surrounding Wolverines. All right. That's Save Toys episode 20. Please leave me some comments here at YouTube. I would love to know what you're thinking about the channel. After all, it's my sincerest belief that I work for you. You are the fans. You make safe toys. Also, hit like and subscribe here at YouTube and that little notification bell because I want you to get all the safe toys goodness you're looking for on the go as soon as it comes up on YouTube. Head on over to Save Toys Facebook and join the family there. A lot of things going on and I want you to be there with us all. Join our family there. Also, if anyone's interested in donating an action figure to the channel, that'll hook you up with Save Toys Premium. That's the fan page on Facebook for private members. We'll take the action figure, do a video, an episode of Save Toys for you. You will be uh, invited to Safe Toys Premium where you'll get to see every episode a week in advance. There's also bonus footage and also comments and conversations about action figures and all things comments just waiting for you to join. And remember, if you like it, collect it. See you next time on Safe Toys.